Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this Principles of Accounting lecture, we will go through and solve this accounting problem. The problem states, on April 1st, Julie Spengel established Spengel's Travel Agency. The following transactions were completed during the month. Here we have details of 10 transactions that took place during the month. We are instructed to first prepare a tabular analysis of the transactions using the following column headings, cash, accounts receivable, supplies, equipment, accounts payable, owner's capital, owner's drawings, revenues, and expenses. And then, from an analysis of the owner's equity columns, compute the net income or net loss for April. So, let's move forward and solve the problem, starting with instruction number one. So, to prepare a tabular analysis of the transactions, we will start the solution by first write the name of the company or institution for which the tabular analysis is being done. Here we have written Spengel's Travel Agency. This is a tabular analysis of the transactions or summary of the transactions, and then we have written the month for which the transactions are being summarized in this table. The transactions are for month of April, so we have written for the month ended April 30th, 2018. Now, before making the tabular analysis, we understand the transactions by carefully read and understand each transaction to determine which accounts are affected. We then need to identify the accounts, list all the accounts that will be used in the analysis. For this problem, the accounts are assets, which include cash, accounts receivable, supplies, equipment. Then we have liabilities, which include accounts payable. And finally, we have owner's equity, which include owner's capital, owner's drawings, revenue, expenses. We have included the column headings accordingly. Now, let's analyze each transaction and record them in the table. Transaction 1. Invested $15,000 cash to start the agency. Here, assets, in the form of cash increase by $15,000 and owner's equity in the form of owner's capital increase by $15,000. Transaction 2. Paid $600 cash for April office rent. Assets in the form of cash decrease by $600. Expenses in the form of rent increase by $600. Transaction 3. Purchased equipment for $3,000 cash. Assets in the form of cash decrease by $3,000. Assets in the form of equipment increase by $3,000. Transaction 4 incurred $700 of advertising costs in the Chicago Tribune on account. Liabilities in the form of accounts payable increase by $700. Expenses increase by $700. Transaction 5 paid $900 cash for office supplies. Assets in the form of cash decrease by $900. Assets in the form of supplies increase by $900. Transaction 6. Perform services worth $10,000. $3,000 cash is received from customers, and the balance of $7,000 is billed to customers on account. Assets in the form of cash increase by $3,000. Assets in the form of accounts receivable increase by $7,000. Revenue increase by $10,000. Transaction 7. Withdrew $600 cash for personal use. Assets in the form of cash decrease by $600. Owner's equity in the form of owner's drawings increase by $600. Transaction 8. Paid Chicago Tribune $500 of the amount due in transaction 4. Assets in the form of cash decrease by $500. Liabilities in the form of accounts payable decrease by $500. Transaction 9. Paid employees' salaries $2,500. Assets in the form of cash decrease by $2,500. Expenses increase by $2,500. Transaction 10. Received $4,000 in cash from customers who have previously been billed in Transaction 6. Assets in the form of cash increase by $4,000. Assets in the form of accounts receivable decrease by $4,000. All transactions are now input in the table. Now let's look into a summary of balances. At the end of all transactions, we have the following balances. Cash, $13,900. Accounts receivable, $13,900. 
$3,000. Supplies, $900. Equipment, $3,000. Accounts payable, $200. Owner's capital, $15,000. Owner's drawings, $600. Revenue, $10,000. Expenses, $3,800. Now we conduct the verification of balances. The total assets should equal the total of liabilities and owner's equity. Total assets, $13,900 cash plus $3,000 accounts receivable plus $900 supplies plus $3,000 equipment equals $20,800. Total liabilities and owner's equity, $200 accounts payable plus $15,000 owner's capital $600 owner's drawings plus $10,000 revenue $3,800 expenses equals $20,800 both sides balance verifying the accuracy of the transactions this completes the tabular analysis of the transactions as asked to prepare an instruction one now let's move forward and solve instruction two here, instruction two requirements are, from an analysis of the owner's equity columns, compute the net income or net loss for April. To prepare an income statement, we will start the solution by first write the name of the company or institution for which the income statement is being prepared. Here we have written Spengel's Travel Agency. This is an income statement. And then we have written the month for which the transactions are being summarized in this table. The transactions are for month of April, so we have written for the month ended April 30th, 2018. Compute the net income for Spengel's travel agency for the month ended April 30th, 2018, using the information from the transactions and the tabular analysis. To prepare the income statement, first we have to identify revenues. During the tabular analysis we have found, the service revenue for the month is $10,000. This amount comes from the performed services transaction where $3,000 was received in cash and $7,000 was billed to customers on account. Then we have to identify expenses. During the tabular analysis we have found, in the transactions there was rent expense, $600, paid in cash for April office rent, advertising expense, $700, incurred for advertising costs in the Chicago Tribune, on account, Salaries expense, $2,500, paid employees' salaries. Now, add up all the expenses. Total expenses equals rent expense $600 plus advertising expense $700 plus salaries expense $2,500 equals total expense of $3,800. Now, to compute net income, subtract total expenses from total revenues to find the net income. So, as we can see the income statement, Revenues, $10,000. Expenses including rent expense, $600. Advertising expense, $700. Salaries expense, $2,500. Gives total expenses of $3,800. Subtracting total expenses from total revenues, we get net income, $6,200. By analyzing the owner's equity columns, we computed the net income for April is $6,200. This confirms that Spengel's travel agency earned a net income of $6,200 for the month of April 2018. So, we have prepared the income statement as required in Instruction 2. So, we have solved this accounting problem. First, prepare a tabular analysis of the transactions. And then, from an analysis of the owner's equity columns, compute the net income or net loss for April. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.